Well, the Cherry Blossom Festival is now less than a month away, and making business owners couldn't be more excited for the festival to return. 41 NBC's Elizabeth Gutierrez reports. With the cancellation of the Cherry Blossom Festival last year, the festival will look a little different this year. So we will have hand washing stations, um, there will be masks available, and we also will be doing temperature checks at different checkpoints for each event. Era Adams, the events manager with the Cherry Blossom Festival, says that they're excited to have the festival this year and hopes that this will bring success to many local businesses. Businesses like La Bella Morelia, who say they were hit hard by the pandemic. I remember when the very first time it started, we uh, COVID hit. It we just completely we went downhill. Uh, we were a lot able to survive on just uh, to go orders. But despite struggling around this time last year, the future is looking bright. I'm glad that they decided to um, re uh, do the cherry blossom this year, just because I, I feel like it brings um, uh, people in. Other businesses like Okmulgi Outfitters say they weren't hit as hard because more people were getting out and being active outdoors. Quint Rogers, manager at Okmulgi Outfitters, says they're excited for what the festival will bring. The store is preparing to implement safety measures for what will be their first festival. We're still strategizing as to how we're going to deal with that. Um, in the past, we've you know had hand sanitizer available and, and asked folks to, um, to stay distant as they're shopping, and we stay on a good cleaning regimen here at the store. In Macon, Lisbeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. And business owners tell us safety regulations will be put in place. The festival starts March 19th and runs through March 28th.